Congratulations, and welcome to your new role as a trustee for one of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania's public libraries. Your work, and that of the trustees who served before you, is greatly appreciated by the Office of Commonwealth Libraries, as well as public library staff members, volunteers, and patrons. As the term trustee indicates, we're putting the Commonwealth's public libraries in your trust. Your role as a trustee is to oversee and plan the future of your local library. Well, I view the role of the trustee as someone who has agreed to really be in trust for the library. That's financially overseeing the physical plant, um, helping to uh, direct the director, uh, and in general, making sure that the library is the comfortable um, and satisfying place that the patrons ex expect to find. Um, I think that that is part and parcel with what the trustees agree to do. And the way that I see a trustee, you know, look at the word trust. Um, you know, it's kind of we entrust our future and our present to you. So in a sense, these are also people who have some sense of spirit about the organization, the facility. They have some sense of caring. And, you know, in, in a big picture, we are entrusting them to look at us and help us along the way. The honor of serving as a public library trustee comes with responsibility for several areas of public library governance, including advocacy, fundraising, policies, public relations, and more. It is the intent of the Office of Commonwealth Libraries that you begin this role with knowledge of what is expected of you and an understanding of how others can help you and your board succeed. Because when the library boards are successful, the libraries are successful and everyone benefits. The Trustee Assessment and Development Program is a helpful resource as you begin this journey or as you refresh your knowledge. This multimedia toolkit includes a DVD series with videos also available online and a manual that you may customize with your library's financial documents, meeting minutes, and other important documents for trustees. We've sought advice from those who have the most experience. You'll hear from library staff, patrons, and other trustees who volunteered to share their advice and appreciation for the role of trustee. This orientation video outlines your role and gives you a sneak peek into the other topics we'll address. So, how do we define a great trustee? It has a lot to do with enthusiasm for libraries and collaboration with others in response to community needs. I think there are two general areas of criterion that define the perfect trustee. The first one is having a incredible, outrageous passion for the mission of the library itself. They passionately believe in libraries and the power of libraries to have a transformational impact on their communities. The second criterion has to do with leadership qualities. Um, do the trustees have wisdom? Are they caring individuals? Um, are they compassionate people? Do they collaborate well with others, not only on the board of directors, but the library director herself or himself as well? And to the extent that they have these superb leadership characteristics combined with their passion for the mission of the library, those are the two best predictors available to us for who is going to serve in an outstanding capacity as a library trustee. As a patron turned trustee, you may see a new side of public libraries that is unfamiliar to you. I think understanding the role of being a trustee starts with the individual asking appropriate questions um, as soon as they're on the board. If they are questions that, that they're not aware of, library history, board history, uh, actions that have been taken before, looking at the past so that they can understand their role currently. And the library director is a great resource for that. Um, I have that opportunity often to meet those people um, before they actually even come to their first library board meeting. And that's an opportunity for me to answer questions that they might have, but it's also an opportunity for me to give them those resources that they need to be an effective trustee when they're on our board. So I appreciate that when someone comes and says, here's 
what I need to know. And then if I have additional information, I can give that to them. And I think that all trustees, whether they're a first year trustee or they're a second or a third, however many years, if they have those questions, they should always look to the history of the board and through the library director because we're a great resource for that board member to know what they need to know. The more you learn about the programs, services, and benefits of public libraries, the more you'll appreciate the critical role you play in maximizing that value within your community. The perfect trustee is someone who has, first of all, a passion for library services. It's someone who understands the value of what a library can do for a community. Once you get past that, though, it's also somebody who has great contacts in the community, somebody who is willing to serve as, as um, the person who is known as the library person, wherever he or she goes throughout the community. Um, you may be involved in uh, community organizations. You might have connections with the school district. You might have connections in, with, with the fire company. But wherever you go, people know that you're going to talk about what the library can do for them, but you're also going to bring to them opportunities for them to do things to help the library. By talking with others about the benefits of public libraries, you'll build the awareness that is so important when attracting patrons to your library and encouraging fund development to help libraries thrive and grow. To get uh, the library program and services out to our community, uh, I think it's a joint effort between the library staff and also the board members. A great trustee cannot stop talking about the library. Uh, they have to be passionate about uh, what the library does in the community. They have to be um, uh, dedicated to, to getting more people to understand what the library does. They need to, uh, to have a strategic plan. They need to have a marketing plan. They need to be able to talk about not only what the library does, but what the library could do if the library had the resources. They need to, uh, to not be afraid to uh, talk to people on elevators, uh, in lines, at dinner, at work, uh, at church. They need to just uh, have the need to have more people use the library. And I think that makes a trustee a great spokesperson. It's the true believer talking about what can be accomplished. Trustees should feel very good about the role that they play Looking around Pennsylvania's libraries and libraries across the country, you can see that public libraries are doing now more than they ever have, and that's due to the guidance and the policies that are developed by the boards. As a liaison between the community and library, you'll be the link that connects the two. Being a library trustee is really all about creating relationships and connections in the community. The library trustee represents the community to the library, but also represents the library to the community. My advice to new trustees is to be a part of your community, to visit the different resources throughout your community, and bring those connections back to your role on the library board. Your role as a trustee requires skills related to advocacy, fund development, policies. These and other duties require specific skills or competencies that may make the difference between a good trustee and a great trustee. The DVD series will outline the core competencies which have been identified as those which are the most meaningful for a trustee. Board basics, hiring and managing relationships, advocacy and money matters, planning and meetings, policies, PR and marketing, and buildings. Future DVDs will address each competency in detail giving you and your fellow trustees a common reference that is both useful and inspiring. Because of you and others like you, public libraries and the communities they serve are changing for the better. I just want to say thank you for, for giving your time to the library, thereby giving your time to the community. And I've always believed that when the library, the local library benefits, the entire community benefits and in turn the world becomes a better place. Thank you for this library with all different kinds of books.